discussing how I cleared my acne and my hyperpigmentation. I have a documented series on my acne journey so if you want to go ahead and check that out before watching this video you can go ahead and do that but I will give you both prescriptions you could get and also things you can get over the counter if you don't have the money to get prescriptions or if you don't have insurance or anything like that. So I do plan on doing two parts of this video. This part is going to be how I personally cleared my acne and the second part will be tips that I give you for you to clear your acne because everybody's acne and hyperpigmentation causes are different. Different things work for different people. So I will give you a step-by-step -step process on kind of how I maneuvered my way into learning these things and how you can as well. So definitely make sure you subscribe so you don't miss part two. Let's just get started with this video. So I will be giving you guys seven steps on how I cleared my acne and things that I did to finally get clear skin. So I found my source of acne. It's super important to research and find out your cause of acne. I found out my acne is hormonal and my acne is genetic. It definitely runs in my family and it's gotten progressively worse as soon as I started puberty. It got so bad and birth control did help a little bit with it but I did end up getting off of birth control because different birth controls could help you and different ones could make it even worse. So different causes of acne will be diet, hormonal, genetic, and it could also be makeup because it could clog your pores. For me personally, I don't think mine is diet because I went vegan and I changed my whole entire diet for acne to improve my acne and it personally didn't help me but my mom on the other hand it did help her when she changed her diet so different things work for different people. Definitely research and find out what is the cause of your acne. Sometimes you'll just know because you know sometimes you can just tell okay when I eat this kind of food I break out or it runs in my family so I know I have that or I'm really stressed out all the time and that's when my acne tends to flare up or I wear a lot of makeup and it definitely clogs my pores things like that you can kind of tell but definitely research and just double check and make sure you just know the cause of acne it'll really help by finding out what other people are doing the next thing is definitely get a sunscreen this is for people with hyperpigmentation and dark spots you need to get sunscreen because you cannot be out in UV light and not have sunscreen it's so important that you shield your skin SPF definitely does that it helps shield your skin because what happens and the reason why we get hyperpigmentation is because our melanin production is overproducing so this tends to happen mostly with people who are darker in skin tone it's very important that you wear sunscreen to lessen the appearance of the hyperpigmentation so I recommend getting a SPF that's at least 30 and also doing it that's paired with a moisturizer I do have the Neutrogena sensitive skin version and that one is SPF 50 and I love that one. I use it every single day. Every time I wake up, I put it on. So it's very important to remember to put SPF on because when you're not, your, your spots are just getting darker and darker. So you want to keep that from happening. The next thing that I do is I'm very gentle when I wash my face. Now when you have acne, your skin is already irritated. So you don't want to further irritate it. You want to make sure that you're using very gentle products. I'm personally allergic to fragrance. So I use non-fragrance free products. I either use the Cetaphil cleanser or the CeraVe one. Currently I have the CeraVe one but I go in between. But they both work perfectly for me because it has zero fragrance which is really good to have because it's non-irritating. What you want to do is just get the cleanser and pump it into your hand. Now when you pump it into your hand you want to gently get it into a lather. Now CeraVe doesn't really lather but you just want to soak all of your hand into it and you want to gently rub your face and wash your face only for 10 seconds. Count for 10 seconds and wash it off with warm or cool water. This will really help because it's non-irritating. It's very quick, it's very fast. Just stay away from cleansers that have beads in it or things like that because you don't want to put that on your sensitive acne prone skin. The next thing that I use that really helped my hyperpigmentation is Natanola. I'm not sure if they still sell Natanola in stores, but when I was growing up, they did sell it in Walmart. Target, Kroger's, things like that. 
So go ahead and just double check to see if you get Natanola near you. If they don't sell it in stores, I'm pretty sure they do still sell it on Amazon. So basically what it is, is it's hydroquinoin and it's a 2% cream that you just put on your dark spots and this helps. It's like a bleaching agent and it helps with lightening your spots. So you want to use this twice a day. I used it twice a day for up to six months. Don't use it more than six months. If it's not working after six months, you want to go ahead and go to your dermatologist. But that's what I did and it definitely helped with my spots. I mean, Natanola worked wonders for me, especially in the beginning. It helped me so much. My skin did end up getting used to it, so it stopped working for me after a while, but in the beginning, it worked like wonders for my skin. The next thing that helped me so much, especially during my freshman year of college, because that's kind of when my acne progressively started getting worse, was the acne.org regimen. Now, when I first saw this, I was like, uh, I don't know if it's gonna work. I really just used acne.org forums and I just looked at what other people were saying because there was some very good valuable information about acne on there. So I just went on there, I was just seeing what people were saying. I was like, okay, I'm about to try this, let me look it up. And acne.org just kept popping up. So I just ended up going deep into the forums, trying everything possible for my acne. And then I started to realize that they have their own treatments and regimens. So I was on YouTube. YouTube, I looked at everyone's reviews of it and I said to myself, this is something I'm gonna try and if this doesn't work, I'm getting on Accutane. So I ended up trying the acne.org regimen freshman year of college and when I tell you guys, that changed my life. It worked so well for me. So basically they have a cleanser, moisturizer, they have benzoyl peroxide, and they also have something else, but I didn't use the other product. But what I did, because I didn't want to buy the full versions, because I didn't want to waste my money on something that didn't work. So what I did was buy the travel sizes. And I bought the travel sizes and I used that. It lasted a really long time. So if you guys ever feel like, you know, I want to try something, but I don't want to waste my money, get the travel size and see if it works for you. If it doesn't, it doesn't work and you didn't waste your money on the full version so that's something that definitely definitely helped for me but my skin is the type that something will work like these two things worked for me so well for about a year it worked really well and then I don't know where my acne came back and I tried it again and it didn't work anymore so I guess my skin just tends to get used to things very fast I don't know but after a while it didn't work anymore but in the beginning and during the time frame that I did use it it worked so well for me like I'm just so happy and even like even if you don't want the product look at the forums they will help you so much because the most important thing about acne is trying different things you know if you're like me I have to try different things you have to be your own guinea pig you have to see what works what doesn't work and how to go from there some people can try things and be like oh this works and it works for the rest of their lives but me girl and maybe me and you we have that problem so the next thing I recommend is something you are gonna have to get a prescription for and that is tretinoin now tretinoin is another product that helped my skin tremendously so it's basically a generic name for a synthetic version of vitamin A it comes in a gel or a cream I had a cream and I just used it only during the nighttime just do whatever your dermatologist says if you have acne and you're thinking about going to the dermatologist this is something that they're probably gonna prescribe to you um, if they don't and you're still struggling ask them for it because it will help you out a lot it helps with marks it helps with acne when I was younger I literally would just use my mom's because she had one so I would just use her product and then it was working for me so I was telling my mom okay I need to get this so we went to my dermatologist and I ended up asking for it so you could also do that as well if you feel like you're suffering from it so the last and final thing that is also a prescription that you guys know I'm on right now if you follow my channel I'm on on Accutane. Now Accutane is a lifesaver. I'm so so glad I went on Accutane. It was just the struggle just trying to find out what worked for me and Accutane has worked wonders for me. This is a drug that's a last resort drug so don't ask for it if you're not at your last resort. Plus people think that oh you have to have super super severe acne to get it. You don't. You just have to have a track record of things that you've tried. So they want to see that you've tried a whole bunch of things as a prescription and then they will decide to put you on Accutane. You don't have to have cystic acne because I don't have that. So you just have to have a track record. So after they find out you have a track record, they're like, okay, since we tried everything, this is the last resort and we're going to put you on Accutane. They start you off on 20 or 40 milligrams. It just depends on your weight and it's a whole process. 
just getting the drug and just being qualified to get it but I'm telling you it's worth it if you're at your last resort and if your acne is messing with your confidence your self-esteem things like that and you're just done you're tired of it and you want something that works get on Accutane I'm telling you guys like this stuff helped me so much so I'm so glad that I found Accutane I do know a few people who went on Accutane so I did talk with them and see how their experience was so if you're serious about the drug definitely talk to people who have been on it my aunt went on it when she was younger um, when she was a teenager so that was years ago that's kind of when Accutane first started coming out it wasn't generic brands anymore because if you didn't know the drug isn't called Accutane anymore they split it into generic brands so back then my aunt got on it so I asked her about her experience my friend got on it as well and I asked her about hers they have similar acne to me because first of all my aunt is family and then my friend and she also had moderate to mild acne like I did I mostly suffered from hyperpigmentation and if you didn't know the cause of your hyperpigmentation and dark spots is because you're getting acne like you're not just getting spots out of nowhere it's irritation on your skin that's going on that's causing your dark marks it could be under the skin it could be whole pimples mine was both and that's what really caused my hyperpigmentation to be so bad the Accutane is very strong there are tons of side effects so you you have to really research and just research and see if this is for you if you're ready to go through this because it could be a very harsh drug or it could just be mild for you it just depends on your body everyone reacts differently so that's why they're so tough on like the drug you have to see them every single month you have to get your blood work done every single month because they just need to make sure that they're tracking you and they're making sure that everything is going well and I have a whole entire playlist on my Accutane journey I think I have a couple months left that's what my doctor said so I'm just really excited to show you guys my final results because I've been recording all the time for you guys to show you my journey just in case you guys decide that you want to get on it as well I hope this video helped you guys a ton if it did please give me a like down below and make sure you subscribe so you don't miss any of my future uploads about this or my part two about this things like that about my skin because I will definitely keep you guys updated I love you guys so much Thank you for watching this video, and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye!